In this video, I'm going to show you how to add motion matching step by step. Motion matching is a new feature of Unreal Engine 5.4 where it uses query based animation pose selection system. So instead of the tree system or state machine, you can use this. And if you're struggling to implement motion matching in UE using the documentation, then this is the video that will walk you through exactly what you need so you can implement motion matching in your project. So let's get started. All right, to get started, we need Unreal Engine 5.4.1. So go to library and then add an engine version and then select the version that you need. So here I already have the 5.4.1. So you will need that. So while that is going on, go to samples, go to Lyra starter game and uh, go ahead and uh, create the project out of it because we will be needing that um, for our project. Uh, because it has a lot of animations that we need and uh, that we'll be using for motion matching project as well. Now go ahead and launch the Unreal Engine 5.4.1 and um, what we'll do is use the game's third person template, uh, a starter content enabled and we'll have the, we'll just name it as motion matching. And go ahead and click on create. And once I've created, we'll see that it's a basic third person template, so we can start. And this is a basic animation that we have, um, which doesn't have any motion captured, uh, sorry, motion matching enabled. Now I will go to the layer game that I just created um, in here. It opens up. Once that is open, uh, we need a lot of animation. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go inside the character underneath heroes, mannequins, animations, um, inside locomotion. Um, and yeah, the unarmed is, that's the animation we need. So we can uh, control A, select all, and then we'll basically migrate it to our motion matching project. So we'll do asset actions, migrate, and then just click on okay in here. So once again, we'll need to select the Unreal project, motion matching. Um, and then we'll do content and then that's it. And then you'll see that the asset starts migrating. Yep. And uh, once that is done, basically you could close this layer project. That's the only reason we got the layer project, just to download those animations. Now we'll go to our motion matching project. Uh, which we have it here and uh, the um, content and then character heroes animations and you'll find there so it's character heroes mannequin animations and that's where you have the you know unarmed animations locomotion and unarmed to enable the motion matching in here so we'll go to edit plugins edit plugin and then we'll type in motion trajectory so i think you should be able to find which is experimental go ahead and select that one and then also select for pose search so that would be another thing that we need to enable in here and once you select both of them you may need to restart the uh, engine and go ahead and restart the engine now once the engine is restarted uh, let's go to our content browser in so we'll go to uh, animations um, and then we'll go to motion matching and then we'll start with the poor search schema so that's the first thing we need to do and once you select on that go ahead and select on sk underscore mannequin and you can give a name um, I think I just went post schema Now next we'll do go to animations, uh, motion matching, and then we'll create a database. So this would be a post search database and we'll select the post search schema that we just created. Um, and you can give in the name, whatever you like. Um, 
uh, this is for your purpose so I just gave post uh, search database um, and this is the a database in which you create all the add and all the animations that we need okay now another thing we need to do before we add on is we need to make sure the all the animations that we have um, that we just got from the Lyra assets um, and that's yeah quite quite underneath there so select all of them and what we'll do is right click on it we'll do basically asset actions and then do edit in property value and just go ahead and click yes and once that is done you will be able to s select them and maybe a few of the animations had issues so I, I, I had some issue with not being able to select all and then finding the uh, you know in the detail tab the root motion I was trying to do enable root motion for all but I was kind of struggling here so what I ended up doing was I ended up selecting only the animations that had a root motion enabled so I what I did was I went all the way to the bottom of this list and uh, basically selected um, only this those animations which had the root motion that I could see on this pan. So control L then that way I was able to get the root. Then go ahead and click enable root motion and also the uh, the force foot lock as well. So go ahead and select that all and save it. And that's all we need to do for the uh, Lyra animations that we got. So close that. Now we'll go all the way to the content folder. Um, in here. And um, we have this post search uh, database. Now we can add those. Um, actually, I did uh, control shift and we can do content drawer. And we can control A and select and just drag them in there. Now you can preview each animations by clicking on each of them. And as you can see, it shows all the animations you need. And if you were to select all, you'll be able to preview all of the uh, motion matching animations. So I went ahead and saved this post search database. Now let's create the animation blueprint. So we'll go to animation and then animation blueprint and then we'll select the same SK mannequin the blue one uh, from the Lyra one and then I just said ABP which is animation blueprint and double click on it so in this anim graph what we'll do is we'll tab and then what we can do is motion matching and underneath the posters there is motion matching go ahead and click that one and in the asset, we'll give the the poster database that we just created. Now we need to link this with the uh, pose history, and so we can select that to the source, and then that to the target or result. And then we need this trajectory, but we need to define the binding actually on the uh, third person blueprint, which we'll do next. So compile, save in here. Go to the BP underscore third person template. And in here, uh, what we can do is actually, um, we can change our um, skeletal mesh and also the animation, the one that we selected on the animation. So that's the SKM many. And then for the animation, we'll just do ABP because that's the animation we just defined. For animation blueprint so we're using this now we need to get that trajectory uh, which is useful for motion matching so we'll go ahead and add that and type in character trajectory and that will suck, uh, create that character trajectory and does give you a warning hey this is experimental so let's close this and let's go back to the the, the animation blueprint in here and what we can do is so we'll go to the event uh, graph 
and uh, we have the event blueprint begin play yep and using that uh, we'll grab the try get pawn owner and we'll cast that to um, bp underscore third person character actually and then we'll ret uh, connect that return link and then as third person character so we'll promote that uh, to a variable okay and you will see that there is a variable now created in there next in the event uh, blueprint update animation we'll need to find the valid is valid and then we'll need to get the third person character but it didn't work because I didn't select the uh, is valid uh, the right one so I'll go ahead and delete that one and then I'll do is and that one with the question mark yeah the utility one yep and go ahead and connect that and then we need to from the as BP character we need to get the trajectory character so we'll do get trajectory character character trajectory I mean and we'll promote this to a variable now hook that up to the is valid and we can just compile and save this and by this time you should be able to see a mannequin in here but for some reason i was not seeing uh, but that's okay so i went ahead uh, again to the animation graph and went to trajectory and then in the binding um yeah trajectory by and then pin and then do character trajectory and then do trajectory and that's the one we just created uh, or it was reference in the third person character now you need to go to third person character uh, sorry bp underscore third person underscore character and then in here go to class default and then try to find yaw and use the control rotation and check check that and then compile and save and I think that would be the all you need. So there were some um, compilation error that it was telling me, but uh, the second time I went and and I could see that it was using the um, the motion matching. So I went ahead and played again, and this time you could see the mechan, and then you can see the motion matching but you could also debug it and you can see this is the this was the animation that we didn't had it um, so I went ahead and typed in the tilde key uh, once you do that you'd be able to see the debugging option so there's a character debug so tabbed it and then press one and then now you will be able to see the motion trajectory in the debug mode as well so that way you can actually view it as this is going on inside your project yeah and this is all for this tutorial let me know if you need if you need more clarification or you're confused on some part uh, but this will be all for now and i'll see you in the next video